There is other very big news today, and that is they appear to have nabbed the guy who they think killed United Healthcare CEO, um, the United Healthcare CEO. And so that manhunt that's been underway has appeared to have worked. Um, per CNN sources, a 26 year old man was picked up at a McDonald's in Altoona, Pennsylvania, after an employee thought he looked like the man in the NYPD photos. Right on McDonald's. McDonald's should be Times Person of the Year. <laughs> They're debating it right now. It should be McDonald's. <laughs> That's amazing. God bless that person. Um, he had fake IDs. Presumably now we're moving on to what the NYPD found out about him, not that person at McDonald's. Last I checked, you don't have to show your license to get a Big Mac. He had fake IDs, including one NYPD believes was used by the killing suspect in New York. Altoona police responded to the call, picked up the man and searched him. The sources said the man also had some documents investigators want to examine as potentially relating to motive. Good. Though further details on those documents were not clear. Altoona police are waiting for NYPD detectives who are en route. Uh, This is amazing. Oh, there's more. Hold on, stand by. My team is sending. Sources say he was found with gun with suppressor. I guess that means they were, it sounds like the gun with a suppressor on it, just just like the one used in this murder. Yeah, the gun, which had a suppressor, a silencer on it, just like the one used per CNN law enforcement sources. So this is very interesting because this guy's been playing a game with the cops, Batya, where he dropped a backpack they believe, they believe it was him, uh, in Central Park as he was fleeing successfully. And they found the backpack over the weekend and inside of it was Monopoly money, which appears to be some sort of a, you know, an, a middle finger, right? A cat and mouse sort of ha-ha moment. Not sure, that's just my guess. Um, and amazingly, he got away, but the cops over the weekend found two additional pictures of the guy. I mean, it's like in 2024, almost 25 America, it's very hard to stay off camera if you're going to commit a crime. And they have one clear as day. Can we, do we have it? We can put it up of, um, him sitting in a, I think it was a, an Uber or a taxi and looking out the window. And my God, it's like, I mean, you can see, look, you can see he's wearing one of those COVID masks, but the upper half of his face is as clear as you could want. And they put this out and I can't help but think of like the Brian Kohlberger case out in Idaho where that, Mm -hmm. you know, the one roommate who was home, Dylan, but not killed, could only Mm -hmm. remember that he had a COVID mask on and had bushy eyebrows. And you look at this guy and it is very identifying those bushy eyebrows. You can kind of tell about what age he is. You can tell he's male. Um, It's noticeable that those eyes and that look is pretty distinctive. And I am still surprised that the McDonald's worker put two and two together, but I bet you he was wearing his mask there too. So it probably, it probably helped. I can't wait to hear more about how that went down. Your reaction to that breaking news. You know, I've been following very closely the reaction to the murder. Um, There's been this weird thing happening both among young people and the far left, but also on the populist right, where people have seen this as an opportunity to both lionize him and talk about, you know, our healthcare system more broadly. So there's been this very ghoulish celebration of the killing. There was um, a a CEO murderer lookalike contest um, in Washington Square Park. Horrible stuff. I mean, obviously murder is just horrible, horrible, inexcusable. But I think the frustration that people feel with our healthcare system is very, very real. People feel really, really angry at how hard it is and how unaffordable it is in many cases to get really good healthcare coverage. And so I'm sort of thinking, how do we move forward from here? Obviously, like, I don't want this to be an opportunity of any kind. This is a horrible murder. It's a tragedy for his family. And I hope this person is the person who committed the murder and goes to jail forever. Um, But at the same time, can we have this conversation about our coverage and how so many people who work really, really, really hard feel that the basic coverage they need to be healthy, which they want, is out of reach for them. That I'm sort of trying to find the middle ground there. Like, is there a mm-hmm. human way to have that conversation in this moment or not? 
I don't know. I got to think maybe, but not now. That's where I've mm-hmm. landed on it. You know, if you do it now, it's responsive. It's right. giving the guy what he wanted and it's just, it's yeah. too soon. I mean, I will say this, you want to throw out our private healthcare system. Good luck. Think you're going to do better under a <laughs> Canadian system or what they have in the UK. Talk to anyone, you know, De- Canadian Debbie. Hello. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a nightmare. You, you, yeah. you could get, you actually could find like a lump, God forbid, under your armpit by your breast. And you could actually be waiting 12 months to get in for a biopsy. I mean, it's like, that's a death sentence. It is yeah. no better when the government is actually running the system. You, the wait times are absolutely deadly. And, you know, you, you can't buy your way out of it. You can't work your way out of it. You're, you actually, what you do is you come to America. You go to a country that has private health insurance. It's not to say it's perfect by any means, but I mean, let's not kid ourselves. The lunatics saying like, we need what Canada has. You know what? You first. I'm not doing mm-hmm. that. I mean, it's ridiculous. And listen, I haven't always had enough money to pay, you know, the whatever you have to pay on top of the insurance. Most of my life, I didn't have that. So I understand. Yeah. But the system's never going to be perfect. Anyway, I think we do have the discussion, but not not now because you just can't. Mm-hmm. It's too responsive. And by the way, I mean, I heard a good discussion on the editors the other day, the National Review podcast with our buddies. And they were talking about how, you know, there's a, a real fear right now about copycats, and I think they're right, oh, right? Boy. Like they were saying, A, they'd worry about this guy before he got mm. caught, you know, going and doing this to another CEO in the healthcare industry. So hopefully now that's done. But B, you know, other people, because there are a lot of Americans who have been hurt as a result of insurance that they didn't think was fair, decisions they didn't think was fair. And, um, you know, all those executives are, I realize a lot of them are fat cats and they're making, this guy was making what, $10 million plus a year. But that the system is what the system is. It's like uh, Bridget Fettesi always says, you know, blame the game, not the player. She says it better than that. <laughs> <laughs> Megan, do you think it's possible that it will turn out that this man was hired by somebody with a personal motive? Do you think that's a possibility? Because I can't help but think like he knew a lot about where this guy was going to be and when in a small window. So originally I thought maybe but now I don't because it turns mm-hmm. out what they reported over the weekend was that that gun he was using, they now believe was this similar, like a similar gun or the, the same kind of gun that a veterinarian uses when they have to take down mm-hmm. like some large animal where you have to mm-hmm. load a bullet in for each round that you're going to fire. And um, that doesn't sound like any sort of a professional assassin, right? Like, mm-hmm. I, I mean- that's fraught with peril for a would-be assassin. And so it just doesn't sound very professional. And I don't know, like, I don't know. It just, while it was, forgive me for saying it this way, well executed, you know, like he got away, he he killed him Mm -hmm. and he got away, just seemed to be a little Bush League to me. So my Mm -hmm. money is on disgruntled insurance Mm -hmm. patient. And look, you know, just one other point. It's not just health insurance, insurance in general is fucking annoying. Have you ever had a fender bender? And you just, like, you don't even report it because you know that your insurance rates are gonna go up so much higher that it's not even worth it to you. It costs more to cash in on your policy than it does to actually just use your policy. So that whole system is, you know, in, in all industries is very messed up. I mean, by the way, we have a place in Montana. Good luck, you can't even get flood insurance anymore. Um, wow. Wow. Yeah, there's like all over the country, they're canceling. There was a big piece in the New York Times about a year ago on how the reinsurers are stopping the insurance for flooding and other sort of home disasters. So everybody is just gonna have to pay out of pocket of something. It's just like the whole system can be looked at. Reality check, everyone. People look at your jawline. They do. Yes, a sagging jawline or double chin can give your age away like that. Introducing the GenuCell Jawline Treatment with dual peptide and MDL technology, GenuCell's most advanced ever technology. People go abroad and spend thousands of bucks to get rid of a sagging jawline or double chin. Well, maybe they should try GenuCell first. And with the GenuCell Immediate Effects product, you could see tightening in minutes. 
And just in time for the Christmas and holiday season, save over 70% off GenuCell's complete skincare package featuring the jawline treatment and GenuCell immediate effects product. You will even get GenuCell XV wrinkle treatment included for Christmas and the holidays. Go to GenuCell.com slash MK today. That's G-E-N-U-C-E-L dot com slash MK. And as a special holiday gift, every package order includes a bonus beauty box with two skincare bestsellers. All orders automatically upgraded to free priority shipping. GenuCell.com slash MK. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.